here we are again uh, with the PK120 from Optima and uh, we're projecting basically a 36 inch image. Uh, the throw ratio on this guy is about 2.1 to 1. Uh, so basically we're about 75 inches away or so uh, producing again about a 36 inch image. Uh, so you can see uh, I'm in a pretty dark environment. Uh, at 18 lumens, uh, you're going to want to be in a relatively dark environment uh, if we're producing anything around 3 feet or more. Uh, but that's to be expected, uh, especially with something at this price point. Uh, 18 lumens with this resolution, with these features, is a fantastic value. Uh, but regardless, uh, we're going to show you real quick uh, some uh, media on here. Uh, in this case, we're going to actually show you just a, a few uh, photos that I had taken uh, over the last few years. Uh, so this is the menu that comes up when you power up the, the PK120. And uh, so depending on, you know, whether you're looking at video, music, photo, uh, you know, office documents, setup, input, that kind of thing, uh, you can actually direct it to look at the right uh, video input. But in our case, we're actually looking at the internal memory. So I'm simply going to select the top right button for photo. Uh, and then again, it'll ask you SD memory card, internal memory, or go back. Uh, in our case, I transferred it to the internal memory. And it pulls up this uh, matrix, if you will, of images. So I literally only have seven images, but I'll, you know, I'll show you what I have on here. Forgive the, uh, the shaking on it because uh, when I hit the buttons, uh, my tripod that this is mounted to is not, uh, you know, not real secure, but uh, you get the idea. So here I am projecting, uh, in this case it's a fire truck. Um, you know, I'm blown away by the colors on this device. So I'll, I'll just come straight out and say that. Uh, here we have a uh, very low cost, under $250 uh, device, and the colors are phenomenal. I mean, the, the contrast is just beautiful on this thing. You see the black tires of this fire truck, really deep blacks, uh, contrasted by the very vibrant, at least in person, and I hope it comes across on the video, the very, very vibrant, saturated greens and reds of this fire truck that uh you know I took this picture uh, a couple of Christmases ago, so you get an idea uh, what the uh, colors of this device or the colors that the device can produce. So the next photo, uh, let's see what we have here. So here's some uh, roses that I took a picture of, so you can get an idea. Really, really saturated reds, again contrasted with really bright, crisp whites, uh, and again with the greens. Uh, so again, hopefully it comes across on the video, uh, but really fantastic colors, a very sharp image. Uh, it is an LED, uh, LED based projector, so I do have to focus it, but it easily finds the focus and keeps it, you know, even if you move the projector a few inches forward and back, it, you know, it's very sharp image. Uh, next image is a yellow flower. Uh, so this is something I took a couple years ago in front of my house. Uh, you get the idea. Very vibrant, bright yellows. Again, really nice detail. Next image is, uh, actually it's an American bald eagle um, that I uh, saw at one of the local zoos here in Connecticut. And uh, so maybe the colors, you, you know, you can't appreciate that, but you can appreciate the detail of the animal itself. And I'll actually, you know, I have a uh, second picture here zoomed in. And I sure hope it comes off uh, as well in the video, because in person, this photo is just fantastic. I'm very proud of this photo. I'm not really a photographer by trade, but I love this photograph. The detail on this is great. And it looks great on the projector. Next one is actually uh, from Canada. It's one of the towers. I can't remember if this is the CN Tower. I can't remember which one it is. But uh, nonetheless, you get an idea for landscape. And the last one is a decanter. So you get an idea of some of the brown colors uh, and, you know, just the reflection off a of glass, this kind of thing. 
And what I'm noticing on the uh, video, you get some of that rainbow effect that you do with DLP-based projectors. You don't see this in person. I assure you that the, the, the image quality, again, is really nice with the PK120. Uh, and again, at this price point, uh, this image quality is fantastic. Uh, so we're going to come back in a couple minutes here. I'm going to set up, uh, actually going to hook up my laptop to the VGA port so you can see. I'll just do a quick search, uh, you know, search the internet or something like that. So I'll be right back. Okay, so here we are again. Um, I actually hooked up the PK120 to my laptop and I'm just mirroring what's on the laptop. Uh, so here I actually have some text and it's the uh, Optima PK120 uh, projector. I went to their website and you can see you know the whites are pretty bright. I have a fairly well darkened room and uh, the whites look pretty crisp, pretty nice. Uh, what I will say is that the fonts are a little fuzzy, um, but still not bad. I mean, let me see if I can uh, scroll over. It's still definitely readable. A little fuzzy, but not bad at all, uh, especially considering the price point of this projector. So I'm not, I'm not too worried about that. I, the main thing, or the main... Uh, application for what I could see for the PK120 is showing videos or photos to friends uh, you know that kind of thing show YouTube videos this kind of thing watching TV shows if you have it hooked up to a smartphone or a tablet uh, playing games that kind of thing text readability I'm not too worried about uh, because I don't think you're going to be necessarily giving presentations with the PK120 uh, unless, you know, you're definitely not, if you were, it wouldn't be this small font size. This is pretty small font size that I'm showing you. We're talking, you know, 14 point font or less. Um, so I'm not too worried about that. So it does a very admirable job of uh, mirroring my desktop in this case. Uh, another thing I'll show you just by comparison would be, uh, let's go to picopros.com. So here we go, uh, you get an idea, uh, excuse me on that, I move the projector, Let me realign this thing, so you get an idea, again, in this case I'm projecting probably around a 30 inch image, I had to shrink it a little bit just to make things work uh, where I'm currently operating here, but you get an idea, the contrast ratio, you can see the darks are really deep, and the, the whites and the bright uh, grays are, are really, really nice in this case. So the contrast ratio definitely excels. Um, you can see the greens kind of pop there on the titles of the articles. Let me see if I can focus this just a little better for you guys. So there you go. Focus a little bit better. Again, text readability on uh, that small font. I'm not again. I'm not too worried about. Uh, but you can see you can mirror your desktop. You get an idea. Uh, let me just check uh, YouTube channel just to show you some video. So this is one of our first reviews, PK-201. <laughs> and the only reason I'm showing you this is that, uh, just to show you what some video looks like, and we are doing Optima 
projector so you get an idea this video is not the best quality this initial video this was one of the first videos that we did on Pico Pros this was one of the first videos we did on uh, Pico Pros so the quality is not great the lighting that kind of thing uh, hopefully we're getting better as we go uh, but you can see that there's no real challenges in terms of the frame rate or you know the smoothness of the video looks fine so that's why you know the only reason I'm going to show you this part of this video um, let me adjust my camera just zoom in a little so pay attention to uh, you know how it captures the video how it projects it and how smooth it is not so much the color here because what I'm showing you is a video of a video so it's not the ideal situation uh, but you get an idea from the photos I showed you that the colors and everything are just fantastic so uh, in this case just pay attention to you know the smoothness of the video which looks really nice Let me fast forward. So you can see the video is very smooth. Uh, Astro Boy in general is a very bluish, grayish movie. So I'm going to leave it at that for that. Uh, so again, uh, we showed you, uh, you know, what comes with the PK120. The price point being under $250. Uh, some great specifications: uh, 18 lumens. Uh, NHD Pico chipset from DLP uh, for te Texas Instruments uh, so it's packing a lot of, uh, of the latest technology SD micro uh, slot uh, VGA composite video all kinds of con uh, connectivity uh, into a very small low-cost package so this is definitely uh, you know on the cutting edge as far as uh, Pico projectors uh, as we approach the end of 2011 so it's really exciting to see where things are going and at this price point especially I mean e even if it was priced a hundred dollars more it's uh, still competitive so at less than 250 US dollars the PK120 is really you know pushing the edge of the lower cost Pico projector and uh, my guess would be a lot of that cost savings or at least a good part of it is uh, due to the fact that Texas Instruments has improved their manufacturing capabilities for these Pico projector uh, chipsets and these NHD Pico chipsets uh, probably take a good deal of cost out of the system uh, not to mention you know some of the other uh, you know as more and more people buy Pico projectors uh, you get the, uh, the you know the the scale of the numbers the more people buying them the, the less cost there is so really interesting stuff where we're gonna definitely keep an eye on this uh, but the uh, PK120 from Optima is definitely something you want to look at if you're looking for a low cost, uh, you know, fairly feature rich device that's ultra, ultra portable. Uh, it's smaller than uh, a lot of the smartphones these days. So uh, a lot of the newer smartphones have large screens. Th th this device is actually quite a bit smaller, uh, albeit a little bit thicker but not by much so it's definitely packing a lot of technology so check out the PK120 from Optima and uh, check out all the specs on the article uh, when we publish it and we'll leave it there for now again this is Paul with PicoPros.com we'll talk to you soon thanks